of wherever the hell we are. And we do not appear to be... Like, all these guys are popping out. And then they're, like, running the wrong way. I think we need more work camps over here. Quite a few more, actually. So let's get them. And I'm basically going to bulldoze a line through here, close this little circle, and then we're going to get um, another firehouse and architect post on the end. Alright, oh great pharaoh, to honor the glory of Egypt, the city of Anakufa requests that you send 1,000 bricks. And this is probably where, you know, you said, do you regret, are you going to regret all of the, all the bricks getting made? And I say no. The bricks were necessary. Excellent. So hopefully they will trade with us more, because we need it. Has this guy got all the goods? Is he gonna is he gonna fill up all the barley? Yeah, there we go. Seven percent unemployment. Barley's gonna be yeah, a big deal. Endlessly chucking spears at hippos. Yeah, look at that. That is just a huge amount of walking that these guys have to do. Because yeah, part of the problem is we're not at kind of peak production for our farms at all. So we just need more farmers. Everybody wants to be Luke Skywalker. Nobody wants to stay home and farm. I don't know why we have all these woodcutters. There's nothing to do with that wood. Increased trading. Because you helped them out, Menakufu is now willing to trade even more blocks of limestone. I am just confused as to how we're supposed to win this mission. Like, the only reason we have any money right now is because we started with $100,000. Ooh, the gods are not happy. We need even more shrines. And we're slowly starting to level up even more of our properties. So we can start getting scribal schools too, because that's what I think the next one is. Yeah, scribal schools. And we have plenty of paper for everybody, so this should be just fine. We 
We've actually been exporting paper. Now, do we have... Are we fetching paper down here? Yeah, we are. Excellent. Toast. We have had no asks for warship wars. Nothing. Not a single thing like that. So I think what we want to do is just spam more fishing ships or something like that, because why not? Filling up on bread, fresh breads for everyone. Only the finest. These guys are never gonna get food. And these guys are just broken. Like, <laughs> they just don't work. We're gonna delete all of the hunters and just uh, try again. Any lucrative exports? Um, this map has no real exports. That's kind of the problem is we could export luxury goods, but we don't have any gem mines. And if we import it, it's only going to be 30 per unit, which is nothing. I mean, we could we can't export beer. We can not export pottery. We can export bricks, and we're doing so. But we can't export anything. So... You know, papyrus we can export, we've been doing that. And we've been trying to fill out missions as much as possible to try to, you know, deal with some of this, but... Just nothing. Nothing so far. No real asks from the kingdom, either. Shipwright. Yeah, these guys don't have food. Well, we're going to need to go into kind of crisis mode here for food then. Um, we're just going to spam this entire coastline with ships. So we're going to need a little town here in order to do so. So it should look like... It doesn't need to be an awful town, so, you know, we'll, we'll make it properly. Alright, Ra just gave us the sell all your exports for half again their normal value bonus. Which is excellent. I think that's the best bonus you can get, in my opinion. In my opinion, while it may not count for much to other people, it counts for everything for me because I am me. I know that's a surprise for some people. Alright, we're having no trouble with pottery, we're having no trouble with a lot of things. Yeah, papyrus is like full production, plenty of plenty of reeds for everyone. We could always get more paper though. So we, we can chuck some papyrus makers down. Seems like a silly roadblock now. Well, people are at least. I should look if we can actually lower wages.
Let's read up on this temple complex real quick. Alright, so the temple complex to Bast. Good fortune to any city. Bast keeps citizens happy by making them satisfied with less. As a result of your benevolence, the rate at which citizens consume food and goods is reduced, and the effects of entertainers, educators, and health last longer. Alright, healing is better. Um, better city sentiment. Alright, there isn't... We can't just, like, jack up the prices, though. Unfortunately. Wow, they got fish all the way over here. I don't understand why these, um... Oh my god. Okay, so we had to build... a road into the floodplain. Did you, did you see that? I built the road into the floodplain, and all of a sudden, the hunters started working again. What kind of world do we live in? Because the birds were trapped in the floodplain. The birds, the birds were trapped in the floodplain. You know, there's a good reason we eat these birds. They're easy to catch. They're trapped. <laughs> They're trapped by land-based obstacles. It's a... Uh... <laughs> we don't know why. Science has never answered this question. This, this area is like totally totally taken care of. Alright, we're gonna need fish. Fish, fish, fish. of Jackie Chan. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Alright, let's go there. Good stuff. There are things even science can't explain. This is this is a true statement. Let's get the temple to Bast. Why are these guys leaving? They're leaving something over here. They're unhappy. Why don't you love me anymore? Oh yeah, you ran out of food. That, that could be why. Alright, let's see. We need an apothecary. And like, all that cool stuff. Apothecary. And a dentist and a physician and a tax collector. Man, that was a nice little nice little circle of people down here. I am happy with that. Hey, can we fit another fish place here? No. No. Fish. gonna get all the fish that we can eat. And we'll probably die of, you know, lead and mercury poisoning because of that. You know, those Egyptian heavy metal mines that 
just polluted the entire Middle East, right? That was the thing? They were mining iron? They weren't mining iron. This guy just can't get food. He's buying all the pottery and booze, but he's like, Oh, I, I forgot something. That's right. I needed bread. I knew I forgot something at the store. Alright, so the other places we could start getting this whole area. Can we build a water crossing that is a bridge? Yes. Okay. This area here is going to be our next thing for settlement. So we're going to get a very small settlement over here, which will get all of this food. And we should get all this food too. Alright, yeah, we're just, we're going to get more food. The Quicksilver from Refining Gold. I am not super familiar with all that. Our long and dangerous trek here was for nothing. The city won't trade. Okay, let's see, what was our coin? Oh, so far this year we have actually collected more money. Net flow went out. That is excellent. And we are 10% unemployment. Alright, so what do we need more of? It looks like we have plenty of straw, and we could always use more clay. So we can get more clay manufacturing. Let's do it. Let's get more clay. These people just are gonna hate where they live. It's like this place is the worst. Next to the frickin' clay pit. They're like trying to raise their kids and their kids keep dying every other day because they fall into the clay pit and the guys don't even care. They just like they're just getting clay. They're like, nah, Pharaoh needs his bricks, I don't give a shit, kid. It's a hard life. Alright, so I think right here is where we're going to build this next place. Like so. We're actually going to double it up. The reason we're doing this is just so I don't um, screw up the road situation. And we're going to need a better area, you know, with like lots of super cool houses. And these, this is going to be the super cool house area. So what Quicksilver gets used to get fine gold dust out of sand. It's polluting massive amount of water that way. It is used in very ineffective gold digging in large areas. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, luck is real, you're absolutely correct. We need wood for... Um, for the scaffolding on the pyramid. Absolutely correct. And we have plenty of it. But we're not going to need that much wood. These guys are running out of beer. So we're probably going to have a massive beer shortage. And the question is, should we segment kind of um, our population based on, on beer? Like, should we just not give beer to anybody down here? And I think that's something we're going to do. We're going to say, don't buy beer. Or linen or luxury goods on these two bazaars. 
and this one down here as well. So we'll try to conserve our alcohol to only the finest of our citizens. Which seems kind of like the the wrong way to do it. Like you want you want your poor folks to be drunk all the time, right? Because then they're happy. And they're not causing bread riots. Because they're too drunk to to, to riot. Alright, we can get a whole bunch of food over here, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> We're just fishing the hell out of these spots, like <laughs> Everybody's. It's like when you go salmon fishing and you get it there and there's like 20 boats just in a huge line. We just can't get the grain farm out here, can we? Yeah, you just can't build it. Crazy town. Alright, so. We'll need the floodplain and all that over here, so... And it looks like we're making money and all that. These guys, though... We don't need to make super awesome houses for them. Because we probably won't have enough booze to help them out. Man, we have 9,001 pop. All right, let's get let's get all the cool people and let's put them in the same same place so we can have a cool people club. What's the point of ruling Egypt if you can't have a cool people club? I mean, for reals. These people never get food. Like, it's literally been 3,000 years, and we still haven't gotten our order of bread from the store. So why aren't these farms operating? They're just too far away? So I guess we just have to go make like a little area over here, and um, we did the same thing that we have been doing. And get localized slave labor. not being very effective with their farming. At least the beer distribution is functional. We're getting... the barley is flowing. We just can't import enough, it seems. At least they haven't screwed us with like a whole bunch of ridiculous water trade. Unemployment, 10%. Alright, good. We have plenty of space. More industry. Do we have enough clay? I don't think we have enough clay.
The hippos, they never give up. They never surrender. They just keep coming back. They're immortal. Alright, and these guys should stabilize. These guys, on the other hand, have not filled up. Do we need to lower taxes or increase wages or something? It's probably taxes, to be honest. 99% of the population is registered for tax. <laughs> Ambient, ambient economics 101. Yeah, that's true. So this is how it works. Just get everybody drunk, and then tell them to do work. And well, we never got past that point because we ran out of money. But there's something past that, and um, there's money to be made in it. Whoever solves that problem is going to be a genius. Going to be a hero. These guys have been sp spending 30 years just leveling the damn pyramid. The, the ground is just going to cave while they're building. Alright, we actually have a building over here. That means we can hire people. A temple to Bast? And we're going to need a physician, a bazaar, we're going to need an apothecary, where are you apothecary, we're also going to need a dentist, a courthouse, a tax collector, a water supply, We might as well get like a scribal school or something like that over here. People gotta be educated here in ancient Egypt. And they don't actually know how to read. Like, they haven't invented reading yet. Like, re reading was invented in the 1940s by Dwight Eisenhower after World War II. So these guys just pretend to read because time travelers from the future have gone back in time and and they've like they're trying to emulate their behavior. It's really weird. I don't know how it works. Nobody knows how it works. Alright, so we'll throw a roadblock up here and then we get these work camps going. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and we get more farms. All right, and we'll get, of course, the irrigation ditches to back it up. All right, so. Two, three, four, I guess five. Just like this. Oh my god, it's a tiny little spider. Gross. Is that a farm spot there? That is a farm spot there. We can throw more plots. A plot to grow grain? 
Are you sure? These are dangerous tidings. Excellent. So, let's see. These guys are going to be hunting around for a long time for workers. Because the workers have to move in from out of state. More farms. The answer is always more. That's... That's not helpful. Damn. We can't actually throw a plot over there? Really? But I wanna. But I wanna. I wanna grow green. Ooh. Ooh. Excellent. All right. Now, do we have people coming into the city? No, we don't. All right, so we're going to increase the wages that we pay people, and we're going to throw a festival or something to try to help that out. Who's who? I guess it's the... I guess it's Bast who we need to actually help us out here. So let's see if people actually start showing back up to our city. So I did not realize that the spigot turned off. Come on, people. Start showing up. We lowered our taxes back to what it should be. We started paying people. percent unemployment it's why aren't people showing up well I guess we need more people we're gonna have to pay people more all right we are expected to lose money now people are indifferent to you having some slums prevents immigration why do we have slums? I guess because we don't have any food? Alright. Well, we can certainly fix this. Increase the game speed? Nah, there it, it was they would show up. They would be showing up right up here and it looks like it was just the um I needed to pay just a little bit more. Thieves just robbed a courthouse. What? Risk of crime. Risk of crime. I forgot to build a. Um, I forgot to build anything over here. 
Alright, these guys are just going to get real angry with us because they have no services. Well, let's, let's lay down the law. You, sir, need to put down the donuts and go get in that field and go make me some freaking bread. Alright, we've got a Scrabble School. We will need a courthouse. We will need a tax collector. And an apothecary. And a dentist. And we should actually build a granary over here as well. some point here we're gonna have some need for infantry I swear it's gonna happen someday I'm gonna be like I'm so glad I built all this military might it's not gonna happen I'm surprised we haven't got any more missions from anybody in the kingdom Oh, here we go. Yeah. Speak of the devil, and we may see him up here. 1200 Papyrus. Such an easy mission. Now please trade with us. Oh no, these guys need services. Fire in the city. Yeah, yeah, we know. We're working on it. Alright, we need a physician, a bazaar, a water supply, a tax collector, a courthouse, an apothecary, and a dentist. And we'll also place down a scribal school because you guys need education. You guys are all dumb. Not not dumb like in the sense that like, you can't talk. You're just you're just stupid. I, I want to be explicit. It's like that uh, <laughs> the quote from Blazing Saddles, right? Like these guys are, you know, farmers. They're the salt of the earth. They're, you know. Or eyes. Alright, cool. We'll get that out there. We'll slap down a granary because we can. And everybody loves it. So hopefully we'll get, you know, all this stuff actually harvested, 100%, doing all the cool stuff. And, you know, we're having trouble with food. It's just what we are having trouble with right now. And that will change very shortly, because we're going to get so many people into this town that we're going to have trouble with everything else as well as food. It's not just going to be food. We're just, you know, that's kind of the plan. Is to just have so many problems that that I just give up. Unemployment one percent. Excellent. Doing well then. So these guys just have a long ass way to go. <laughs> Let's take a look at our current projection we spent 4000 and our current projection is oh, it's not very good i'm going to bump up the taxes and see if people hate that too much
or if they keep flooding in because they didn't they didn't get the memo. I mean, we basically have a, a socialist Egypt, right? Or whatever. We got state-run healthcare. School is free. Um, elementary school, that is. But that's that's basically the community college of. All right. A new trade route. Let's see what they've got. Ichwadi. They will buy beer and they will sell pottery, linen, and nothing. We give two dams about. Well, thanks, Ichwadi, for not helping at all. Um, I guess we'll just import beer. So, okay, maybe they're a little helpful. We need a mortuary in the linen. Hmm. Oh, they buy beer. They will sell linen. All right, we we will buy linen then. We will we will not buy linen yet. I don't feel we are profitable enough for me to buy linen. No, I meant what I said, but what I said was mistaken, and that I could not do that thing that I wanted to do. Alright, it looks like people don't really care that much about the taxes. They cared a lot more about the kingdom wage or something along those lines. And yes, all of these houses need linen. But our biggest problem is not linen, it's food. So let's make sure all of our granaries get filled. Population milestone. We are 10,000 people. We are Egypt's top tier. Well then, people shall come from far and wide to, to discover the magnificence of Pharaoh's city. And they will slowly realize that there is no bread. And be very upset. Can't have a city without bread. You fools. Can't reach that one if we do this. All right. This looks good. So we're gonna need farms for grain, and this one doesn't need this side. Well, that looks nice. Just like such. Fire in the city, and a meager shanty. 
Do we not make any fire stations? Or are we just having problems with employment? Or... That's really interesting. Let it burn. That looks pretty good. And, well, we will install those irrigation ditches we love all so much. Just like this. What about Roller Coaster Tycoon? Have I played that? Have I played that? Oh, hell yes, I've played Roller Coaster Tycoon. I have dropped many a fair visitor to my park into the abyss of hell that is the middle of the lake. Oh, you're about to throw up? Not anymore! How about death? I do not think I'll be playing that game on stream. Um, and if I do, it'll be in a very, very long time. Alright, how many farms should I get? I mean, uh, more work hands. Let's just take a look. They seem to be popping out here pretty nicely. But I think I could use a few more. So let's get a couple. Yeah, here's the sickness one way or another. You can't be sick if you're dead. All those soldiers. We never got attacked. Not even once. What's our unemployment at? 2%. Alright, so these guys are downgrading because they don't have the booze. Alright, well, let's... Let's make sure that we don't buy any of the better luxury goods. Alright, storage yard over here. As well. Barley, beer, linen, and papyrus. Alright. We probably just need a, um, a local supply of that. It probably just needs another storage yard right up here, which will go fetch it. Because we have beer over in the shop, just uh, none of it's getting delivered over here. We don't need papyrus here. Alright, we do need probably luxury goods whenever we get them. And linen. And pottery. Let's take a look over here. They're doing pretty well. That's good. Is that some Singapore level unemployment? What? 4%? Or were you commenting on just the massive number of people roaming around the map? 
heading for the other houses across town. Let's make sure that these guys aren't buying any extra goods. We don't need them over here. Let's throw a storage yard down over here as well. Get pottery, get papyrus, get, yeah, just get half of those. 2.1%. Is, is that good? That sounds good. Now my question is, there's, oh my god, yeah, here it is. How is this farm getting worked? Well, no, like... No! Shrines to Osiris have all collapsed. Wait, what? This. Oh my god! This architect post has not been functioning for the entire game. We just lost eight shrines to Osiris. You get another bazaar. We ha already have two freaking bazaars, though. I don't know. I I guess we just need more booze, more booze production. Let's do it. Let's get more, more brewers. guys build that pyramid fill it in with crushed stone net in and out construction was 3,000 hmm. And yeah, it just looks like we're still having problems with food, even though all these frickin' fisheries are going, everything's going. Well, let's see if the gods hate us. The gods are okay with us. They're not super thrilled, they're like... Like, we're not best friends anymore. But they're kind of... You know, we could kind of catch up on the weekends, but it's a little awkward. That's kind of how we are with the gods right now. And I guess maybe we could turn off the straw industry or something and maybe get more more food out of our farms. Cause, or maybe we can just get a couple more storage yards of straw and like kind of seasonally turn it on and off. I like that idea of like fetch all the straw all at once and um, the rest of the time fetch all the food. I think everybody on the entire map with grain is going to the same spot. 
Where are they going? Or they're all going here, and then they go on to their next next destination. Well, how much money do we have in our war chest? We have ten thousand dollars, so we're we're actually getting close to not doing super super well, which is annoying. We're gonna see if we can just lower the wages back down a little bit, and see if we can you know kind of level out a little bit because we don't need that many more people in this town. See if the immigrants stop flowing in. I guess what people really wanted was a whole bunch of parties and festivals. And they didn't really care if anything else was going on. Oh yeah, and the slums. We had some slums and some bad stuff going on there for a little while. And that probably had a bit of big effect on it as well. doing a decent job but these these fish guys all right they have actually filled up on fish so what I need to do is basically um, these guys need to accept three quarter full and get a quarter full of um, other things and that's kind of what I need to do is like Accept three quarters and then get a quarter of each. We'll try to pull, you know, try to pull fish out of those areas using our granaries so that our fishers can actually, you know, focus on fishing. Maybe it'll work. I have no clue. Eleven percent unemployment. Well, let's solve some of that with some hunting lodges. We'll build all of them. Hopefully we don't have the same problem as the frickin' gazelle. I don't think these birds are like gazelle. They don't roam around as fast. They're birds. You'd think they'd go faster than gazelle, but they don't. We already went over this. They're stopped by floodplains. They're not the smartest birds. Bizarre needs to go get frickin' food. Do we have an intermediate storage yard of stuff? No, we don't. Well, we, we could put one right here. We want... Half pottery. 